Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the CSTV Bullet. I'm your host, Kathleen Egal Tuto, Madam CS, and this is The Striker. Stay tuned and have it true and real. So, if you are new here, welcome home, Karibu Nyumbani. Kindly remember to subscribe, like this video, share it to your friends and your networks. And more importantly, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. At the same time, turn on your notification bell so that each time we are dropping a video, you are able to get the notification. If you are a returning subscriber, a sun sana for your support. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate you and let's uh, maintain being at home. Now, in today's striker, actually, I'm going to look at uh, why President Ruto uh, withdrew his lawyers from the current impeachment case that has been taking place. Now, as we all know, the deputy president was actually impeached and as he was impeached um he went to the to the supreme court or the high court like he, he appealed uh he went he ran to the judiciary to see whether actually he can survive there and a three uh bench a, a three church bench was constituted and you know there were so many res um parties that were involved uh in that particular case and president ruto i think was number six or was the sixth respondent in that particular case so recently i think like two days ago we saw the president withdrawing all the churches the the, the lawyers who were actually um representing the president coming and out to say they have withdrawn from representing the president in that particular case now this raises a lot of questions like number one why was it that in the first place the president was a respondent in that particular case Number two, why is it that the president's lawyers have withdrawn from that particular case? So today that's what we want to discuss. Now, as to why the president was a respondent in that particular case, uh, from where I stand, I think, um, you know, him being the president of the Republic of Kenya and he's not spoken about the current situation, about the impeachment. He has not come out openly to speak. I think in that particular case, the accuser, that is the DP, feels like the president is behind his impeachment, um, his impeachment uh, process and his impeachment fiasco. Of course, we have seen him several times talk about he was, there was a time they almost wanted to kill him. And then there's also a time he, he said about, um, there was a time they wanted to, uh, to poison him in Nyeri, you know, he said a lot of things that have actually even read to the DCI summoning him. Of course, again, he refused. So by the fact that he doesn't trust his pose anymore, we even saw him say that the pose is a very vicious person. Does the fact that he doesn't have that trust anymore, it tells us why the president was included in that particular case. But again, now the question is, why has the presidential lawyers actually withdrawn from that particular case? Number one, it's because of our constitution. Now, our constitution states that the president of the Republic of Kenya is not supposed to be involved in any civil proceedings in this particular country. Like he's involved in a case, this particular country where he's appearing in court and, you know, he has to answer into questions. Now, if they did not withdraw, you see the kind of lawyers our DP has, the likes of the senior counsel, Paul Mwite. We have seen the likes of Undewa. They could have utilized that particular opportunity to pomper the president quietly with questioning by demanding that he should come to the court to be close examined. You remember the way they did Mutuze in the Senate? I meant to understand that if the president actually stayed in that particular case up to the end, they were under the rest of the deputy president's uh, lawyers could have not actually not failed to demand that the president comes to court and they cross-examine him. And you know what they could have done, you know. You saw what they did to Mutuse. And you could be sure, sure that at that particular time, they could not look at that particular president as the president of the Republic of Kenya because according to them, that president is just an enemy to their client. So they could have taken this particular opportunity to pin him down and actually this could bring a lot of embarrassment to the president of the republic of kenya and i'm feeling i'm i meant to understand that somebody advised president ruto that hey dude you need to do something withdraw your lawyers from this particular case because the likes of polimute are not likely actually to give you space in that particular um particular um um particular uh flow 
all in that particular courtroom. Number two, um, that's number three, because the first is combined according to the constitution and running away from the embarrassment that actually could have gotten him he was to, if he was to be close examined by the presidential, uh, by the deputy president's um, lawyers. Number three, it has to do with the feeling maybe that if he could have been in that particular case up to the end, then the Kenyans could have ratified and confirmed that actually he is the one behind the impeachment of the deputy president, Rikati Gashawa. Why am I saying that? Ever since the impeachment process began, President Ruto has been quite quiet. Actually, he is operating the country as if nothing is happening. You see... We have seen him go to churches, go to functions. The other day he was in Trukana and he didn't speak anything as far as this impeachment process is concerned. And the Kenyans have internalized it that actually the Gathi Gashawa's fate was sealed long time ago. It was only waiting for time to be executed and that the deputy president, the president of the Republic of Kenya is behind this. So in this particular case, like by withdrawing himself from this particular case, the president uh, wants to send me a message like I'm not party to this, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not the one actually involved in this impeachment process and therefore I shouldn't be part of the court proceedings, etc. So I think in one way or another, he wants to, uh, you know, pull himself out, he doesn't want to be associated with, with it. The fourth one, and actually this one I'm thinking loudly, you can also tell me what are your reasons or what are your ideas as far as this particular case is concerned. Why do you think the deputy pre the president actually withdrew his lawyers? My fourth point is that, remember when this um, uh, case, well, case went to the high court, we saw the president saying that the case should just go to the Supreme Court. And we wondered why the, deputy, the president was saying that the case should go to the Supreme Court. From where I stand, I just feel like President Ruto feels that this case should end as soon as possible. He, get, he gets an opportunity to swear in his new deputy president and life moves on. You know, he's this kind of person who wants to move on very fast. And as you can see from the side of DP Rikati Gashawa, there's an effort actually to drain this, uh, you know, the the swearing in of the new deputy president. Like you see the way things are moving, there's a dilly like draw, um, delaying tactics being employed here and there to avoid the, or to delay the, the swearing in of the new deputy president. So I think by withdrawing from this particular case, he's trying actually to save time, you know? Let those people who are there who can be able to respond to that, respond uh, uh, whatever they can. And we move forward. This case ends me. I've made up my mind. I don't want this person as my deputy president. And let things move on. I, I don't want to, like, he doesn't want to actually to hear anything about the Gathi Gashawa and the impeachment and the deputy presidents, the president's thing. So that's, that's, that's also my thinking. And I just feel like that even when the DP's lawyers are talking about, you know, the other day they said they don't like the members, the, the churches, who were appointed by the deputy chief justice to to preside over the case they are also doing that not actually because um they don't like those churches but i also feel like it's also a delay tactic because when he, i listened to one of the lawyers he was saying that um they have withdrawn some reasons there are some reasons that they had given i think it was a petition because they realized that the church you were saying was a master's a student for um, Kituke, Kitule Kindiki at um, Univ Moi University, there was evidence that Moi University has never hovered master's in law at that particular time. And at the same time, there was evidence that that church was only Kitule Kindiki's undergraduate student. So you realize some of the petitions that they have used uh, to Dray or also to say like they don't want these churches etc some of these petitions actually they have they have no foundations and I think it's not like it was by accident it's not like they didn't know that these things are happening but it is because they want you know it is by design let's keep this thing delayed let's continue delaying the what the deputy president uh, no, uh, the nominee swelling in so we don't know what is going to happen, yeah? And uh, I meant to understand that as, as the country is right now, we may take time before we get a new deputy president. If at all, the judiciary is likely to, 
to to reparate the regarding the shower but if it's not going to to reparate the shower the, the question is is it kitu kitu likely to accept the the, the the nomination as the deputy president will you give him will you give him your support as the deputy president of this particular republic do you think justice could have been served to regarding the shower and do you think it was right for the deputy, for the president to withdraw from the case as a sixth respondent Comment down on the comment section and let me know your ideas. After all, I want to wish you all the best. Kindly stay tuned, subscribe, like, share and comment on this particular video. Ciao, ciao.